All right, Joe. We're gonna continue on with the um, the kingdom Q and A episode one. This is kind of part three, man. Uh, you know, I don't know how much time this thing keeps, man. I know we're already over thirty minutes in, but I still got another. I still got another question, man. I just got it in from Thomas Kosher. Kosher. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. He asked, uh, King JB, what's your favorite MC of all time? Nas. Nas, I believe, is the hardest MC ever. Uh, I think uh, Nas mixes, you know, traditional hip hop with an extreme amount of knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anybody that knows me knows I study a lot, read a lot. I'm real big on, you know, ancient aliens and civilizations and cultures and uh, Atlantis and, uh, you know, I I'm into a lot of things like, you know, history, real history. Like, not Africa, but when it was Kush and shit like that. And, and Nas is too, man. Nas is a real deep MC, man. And uh, Rakim was a, a real deep MC. Uh, there's, some, uh, there's, some, there's some MCs that's just extremely deep. And a lot of people today are not. You know, you got to get into actual knowledge. And you got to damn near have a, a, a dictionary when you listen to Nas. And, and that's the beauty of it, you know what I'm saying? And then if you listen to his tracks, man, if I ruled the world, man, let's just go back to that. You you know, you can really feel that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because the world is fucked up, and, and, and the thought of uh, being able to rule the world and, and all the different things you can change, you know? I remember as a teenager listening to that, uh, just that first line. Imagine smoking weed in the streets without cops harassing. Imagine going to court with no trial, shit like that, man beautiful shit uh and, and in fact that's what if you think about it i named my my management company street dreams management you know i mean you got to remember the nas track street dreams are made of these you know what i'm saying uh you gotta love that shit you know what i mean and uh God, i just love nas man even the song he just did with chris brown and game well it's not just did um uh, we make the world go round or some shit like that you know uh, nas to me is just i think he's top notch man i think He's really saying something in his music, and I think that's something that hip hop does not have at this sta at this stage. Uh, all the top people, I don't think, is really saying something. You know, you can't listen to Drake. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker ain't saying shit. I love Rick Ross, man, because I love the floss and I love to be the boss. But he ain't saying shit either. Lil Wayne ain't saying shit. Nobody in the game today is saying shit. Uh, Nas st stands out. Of course, you got Biggie Smalls. I love Biggie Smalls. Pac. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't no joke. But I'd say actually my number two, though, is Sibo. I, I go way back to my gangbanging roots from when I lived in Cali, man. Uh, I was always on that crib shit, man. So this Sibo this thing, man, was a big thing for me. You know what I'm saying? And when I got into music, I got to meet Sibo. And uh, I started working with a, uh, I started working with a cat named Cavio, uh, who did some music with him, and then me and Cavio, Cavio fell out, but the bottom line, man, I was signed to this lab, uh, label called Boss Gang Records, uh, which was affiliated with Sibo. Sibo actually paid for that whole shit. Um, a lot of dreams come true back then. But you know, uh, bottom line, Sibo is not necessarily the best lyricist, uh, but Sibo's music made me want to pop a motherfucker, and at that time, that's what I needed to survive, so Sibo was uh, definitely very good, uh, but the number one MC of all time has to be Nas. Uh, I love Big and Pac, but they're, they're not on Nas's level in my book. You know, uh, Jay-Z's cold, man, but Jay-Z will never be Nas. And Nas just didn't sell as many albums as Jay-Z. That does not mean he wasn't better. That he was, you know, Drake sells more albums than Nas. It doesn't mean Drake's better. It just means he's better marketed. Um, so, yeah, Nas, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, answer a question. I'm going to flip that question. Uh, and turn it into a bonus question for you. Who do I think is the worst MC? Now that's the question. With that being with that being the case, I think. Uh, let's see. This is a hard one, man. So you gotta give me a second. I think the absolute worst MC. You know what? I don't think I can answer that, man. Uh, there's a lot of people that I don't like. Drake is probably, I think, you know, in my opinion, Drake's definitely uh, one of the people on the list of the worst MCs. Uh, 
I'm not a big fan of a lot of people, man. But I, I'll go with I'll go with Drake. I'll go with Drake. I'll go with maybe uh, Lloyd Banks from from from. <laughs> then, no, I gotta go with Lloyd Banks, man. I gotta go with Lloyd Banks. He's probably the worst MC I've ever heard. So I don't know, man. You know, basically just kind of throwing that throwing that out there. I do love hip hop. Big hip hop guy. Uh, always have been. It's the only music I've ever listened to was hip hop. And with that being the case, uh, you know, I, I love all, I love a lot, man. I love that shit. Uh, with that being said, all y'all cats, man, out there that haven't checked out, you know, it's kind of older shit, but check out Dirty Boys. If you don't know who the Dirty Boys are, I think they're from Mississippi or some shit like that. Uh, I could be wrong. Could be. It's Alabama, Mississippi, some shit. Some, one, of them, one of them southern ass states. They're called the Dirty Boys. Check them out, man. I mean, uh, the, the album's cold. But, yeah, I'm willing to talk hip-hop at any time, man. Any time. But, uh, anyways, with all that being said, man, I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, I appreciate everybody that's listening to this question and answers. I know it was long. Uh, I don't know if it's still going to be broke up in three three, uh, three things or if I'm going to be able to change it. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get everything out of here. Sorry, I was looking at something. I know I just seemed like I just dozed off right there. But basically, no, I'm going to try to put all three videos together, but I don't know how much time my YouTube will allow my videos to be. Uh, but big ups to all my sponsors once again. Whatchafight.com, Pamela.biz. Uh, the MMA Madhouse, MMA Madhouse.com, as well as I know I'm missing one motherfucker. I said what's your fight.com, right? Ah, oh, the MMA Fit Club, man. Make sure y'all check them out, man, in Indianapolis. Uh, big ups. But anyway, with all this being said, make sure y'all check me and Jason London out this weekend. UFC, uh, MMA legend, Jens Pulver on the show. Love y'all, man.